<clears throat> Good evening, and on behalf of our family, uh, especially my mom's brothers, sister, and her mom, Hazel, thank you all so much for, for being here, for watching. As, as Robin said, we celebrate my mom's life. Um, I know I definitely don't feel worthy to speak, but I'm so honored and grateful that I get to take part in this celebration. Um, this stool, is, it's here for a reason. As many of you fans know, and of course the players, this was her outward platform where she would sit and her Lady Ball family would, would gather around her for words of encouragement, words of wisdom, but usually a lot of harsh criticism. Again, this was, this was her platform where we saw her passion, her intensity, and of course, the world famous stare. But something that I also wanna celebrate tonight is my mom's heart, her enormous heart. And I'm here to tell you that inwardly, behind the scenes, she had three hearts, the heart of a mother, as Robin mentioned, a heart for others and a heart for Jesus Christ. And so let's start with the heart of a mother. I heard three words every single day of my life. I love you. Every day. Didn't matter how busy she was, what she had to do, she took the time to stop and tell me that. And not only did she say it, but she showed it. She walked the talk. You might think that the famous coach, Pat Summit might not have time for the normal parental duties like, let's say, cooking dinner. But I'm here to tell you the majority of my life, I'm talking six or seven nights a week, my mom was home cooking dinner. And for those of, her that, for those of us that know her best, it, it wasn't carry out, it wasn't microwave meals. We're talking the stove, the grill, and two ovens going at the same time. I mean, Pat Summit felt lazy if she only had one oven going at the same time. So she, she had the heart of a mother. That's, that's who she was. And her favorite mom story to tell was uh, one time when I was playing soccer. First, let's step back and realize as she's winning those back-to-back-to-back -back -back national championships in the 90s, she still took the time to come and watch her six-year-old play soccer. And if that doesn't say it enough for itself right there about her heart, then this story will. Um, at halftime, I, I ran over to her imaginary stool on the sideline, and I look up and I say, hey, Mom, you know, how am I doing? Well, she looked down and she said, oh, you're doing all right. That's not Pat Summit. So I said, no, come on, Mom, how am I doing? And she first took her sunglasses off and got eye level with me. That's when I knew I was in for it. She said, son, you're not being aggressive. Get after the ball. Run after it. Don't be scared to get physical out there. Yes, ma'am. So I run back out there with those six-year-olds. Six and, folks, I was everywhere. I was all over the field. I was knocking people down. So I run back over to my, my coach after the game, and I get some harsh criticism from him as well. And so I'm, I walk back to Mom. I said, Mom, I'm confused. You know, you tell me to be more aggressive, but my coach tells me I'm playing out of my position. She hadn't realized I was the goalie. That was the last time Pat Summit ever tried to coach soccer. But it, it, it shows her heart. It shows her heart. And she wanted to help any and everybody no matter if she knew the rules or not. And that, that brings me to her second heart, a heart for others. And, and she had it. I guarantee you there are so many people in this building, so many people watching right now that have stories of Pat Summit walking 100 miles an hour and then stopping on a dime to sign an autograph for a little girl, to say thank you to the janitor or the cafeteria worker. That was her heart for others. She would sacrifice, no matter where she was, where her stool was at the time, whether it was uh, her, her office, her office chair, an airplane seat, it didn't matter where she was. She would sacrifice for others. Uh, she would even sacrifice for our dog. As some of you remember the story, she saved our dog by backhanding a raccoon off our back deck. 
Uh, a similar story that, that you all don't know is a time we were at the beach, my mom sitting in her, her beach chair and some friends and my, my dad and I were out in the ocean playing and somebody down the beach yells shark. So what does Pat Summit do? She gets up and sprints directly at the five foot shark. Nobody was hurt except for my mom, who we later lo learned broke her ankle sprinting so hard at the shark. <laughs> Again, she would sacrifice for anybody. Her heart was so big for other people, it didn't matter who was gathered around her stool at the time. Another example that I think everybody in here, everybody watching can remember is what we think about when we think about Pat Summit in 2007 and 2008. Well, we think about those two banners, the back-to-back -back national championships. But I tell you, behind the scenes, behind closed doors, it wasn't the same success story. There were a lot of hardships that, that she went through, and I think a lot of people will tell you that was some of the hardest years of my mom's life. She was still dealing with the pain of, of losing her father, who for the majority of her life was her motivation. She wanted to get his approval so bad. She was going through a divorce in those years. She was dealing with the intense pain of rheumatoid arthritis or even coming to practice, getting out of her chair, getting off of her stool caused pain for her body. But no matter what the pain, emotional, physical, a lot of people did not see that. Why? We were her motivation. She had a heart for all of us. She was the strongest person I have ever known or that I ever will know <clears throat> but a lot of people don't know where that strength came from her favorite bible verse was Philippians 4 13 I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength she had a heart for Jesus one of my favorite memories uh, was back in 2012 when we were baptized together again in front of friends and family Another example of her faith uh, was in the last few days of her life when I'm sitting there by her side and for a son to hear some come up to her and say, Pat, I love you. Thank you. You brought me closer to God. It's the most incredible feeling a son can ever have for his mother, a child can ever have for a parent. And it just showed that Pat Summit didn't have to talk the talk. She walked the talk. She showed her faith through her actions. And I know in that way, but in so many others, I'm still learning so much from my mom. I still have so much to learn from her. But here's what she would want now. For all of us that in some way have been influenced by Pat Summit, she wouldn't just want us to remember her example she would want us to go out and to follow it. So let's not just celebrate her legacy, let's now carry it on. Let's find our own stool in our lives and let's strive to have a heart like Pat Summits. Thank you. <laughs>